in uh made it jamaica 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 yep <laughs> how was that that was pretty cool <laughs> all jamaica warm it was fucking hot they, they, didn't, <laughs> they do uh well we i don't know they do fahrenheit but for me it didn't get below 24 celsius whatever that is jesus that's pretty it good was, that's great they didn't get up to 24 the, here <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah no was, but, Kind the lowest warm. high was oh, it 30. Was, it was hot. It was hot the other day. <laughs> the other day. Yeah. <laughs> I heard it snowed while I was gone too, though. Yeah. My dad hell. sent me an email that his uh, bird bath was frozen. <laughs> there's, a, there's a few cold nights. There yeah. weren't any birds stuck in it, though, so it was all right. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Got you guys gifts, but they're not here. Oh, sick. Oh, I love gifts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they're, they're not here. Oh, that's fine. Well, I, you know what yours is. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's, a, yeah. it's a yo ho ho on a bottle of whiskey. What's <laughs> I didn't. Uh, <laughs> yeah, what is it? The, it's the recipe comes from the oldest guy in, ever in England or something like that. <laughs> well, okay, old par. I, yeah, actually, I didn't, the, the, I didn't the, get the name of the, to read deep into it. it this guy, the, this thing is kind of from like from back from my childhood almost. Uh, but it's uh, a yeah. it's it's called old par and it's uh it's a blended whiskey. From Scot from Scotland. That's not I the one like, we. I heard like the name though came from. It was like the oldest guy in Britain was named Mister Parr. Yeah, the, the, there's there's at the, a, at the time was it he was his recipe or do, do you know? No, no, no. I think it's just it's just named it after him, like in, in, in his honor. Or something. Yeah, something something like that. Uh, but old Parr is rumored to have lived like seven hundred years or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Yeah, what a deceptive old man. <laughs> what a bunch of gullible people in his town! <laughs> exactly, uh, but no, it's 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 a it's a weird thing because I looked it up before. You know how like okay, so if you go to the LCBO, uh, the deal is that they can if you see like say a bottle of booze X in X part of the world, I yeah. really liked it. Uh, you can actually order it through the LCBO. The LCBO actually has a service where they will go out purchase oh get out liquor for you and bring it to you. Uh, but it has to be like a case, like it's like a case minimum. Okay. Uh, but I was actually at one point just curious to see like <laughs> how would it, like what would it cost? Because I remember like old. How pile, many cases old, have you? Well, <laughs> we have to buy oh, 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 six oh, bottles or twelve or twenty four. I didn't know anything, so I that's why I, I looked this up because I was curious and I remember that uh, old part for some reason old part is really really popular in Colombia or at least in, in my area of Colombia, and I but then when I with apparently with the LCBO contacted. Sorry, the distillery uh, of Old Part. They say that Old Part is only sold in Scotland, in Japan, in the Caribbean, in Venezuela, and Colombia. That's it. And they will not. They will like. They will not sell it to Canada. They will not sell it to states. They, they just will not. Holy shit! <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what I saw in Wikipedia, and then I, did, yeah. I, I just I didn't have time to read anymore. Like, but yeah. just cause. They just don't. I didn't want have to time sell. to read anymore. Myself, no, no, just like they didn't want to sell to Canada and America. I, yeah, I, I have no. I don't know what fuck the fuck the white people. I don't know what the motivation is to be honest. Like, <laughs> well, fuck them because I got a bottle in my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not the shot we had that gold, one night. Comes no, in a gold no, no, box. No. They just think they're really special. I think. <laughs> <laughs> that that one that what we tried was actually something that's from Colombia. Um, this is actually just this is like you know it's it's a whiskey Scottish. you just can't get it here mm. and I've been wanting to have it for a while. <laughs> you got it. Yeah, thank, thanks, bud. <laughs> hey, uh, isn't this thing about F one? Yeah, yeah, isn't this thing about F one or something? <laughs> Stop. Talk you you it, missed so. the whole week of uh, of F one goodness and like, shenanigans. I know. I only watched the race on Sunday. <laughs> My phone crapped out on me when I was down there, and then uh, I don't. I couldn't watch it. So whatever. I didn't get it. But I didn't really have time, anyways. I didn't watch anything down there, but whatever. Yeah. I, didn't, I, w- I would have watched the race if I could have. You were on island time. I just watched it. Island time. Yeah. Actually, I didn't even. We didn't have a clock until like the third afternoon. Like, neither of us had the time. It was 
interesting. That's kind of magical, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. We're even even more fun employed than I already was. <laughs> Dude, I didn't even know it was possible. <laughs> they do it right down there, though, those guys. <laughs> they, they, do, they do unemployment right in Jamaica. <laughs> no, not, not even unemployment. Just life. Just not there. Just everything's mellowed out. slow, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. I like it. F1 though. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I, I did watch uh, the episode that you guys did while I was gone. Oh, that's so. I listened crazy. to it. But I was. Uh, I wanted to Skype in myself, but it was impossible. <laughs> yeah. Like, the promised internet that was supposed to be there wasn't there. Oh uh, fuck! It never came. The guy, the one that the first guy had, he showed up on the third day. That's how we found out what time it was. And he had uh, just an internet box for us that connects to the cell phone network, mm. which isn't that good. So. Couldn't have Skyped in there. And the other guy, the internet didn't work at all. So, like, in a certain spot, we found out we got one bar from the neighbors. Oh, they shit. They didn't have a password on it, so we... Dummies. Yeah. So it was impossible. Oh, well. I would have liked to, though. Yeah. yeah Those we'll, guys we'll, are awesome, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lights. Um, we'll, we'll have to shoot, do another one. Calm conversation. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. That's coming up later. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll do one. We'll do one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Update on this Fantasy F1. I think, to be fair, um, they should miss their predictions this weekend on purpose. <laughs> just, <laughs> you know? just, yeah, just putting you it know? out there. I, learned, I, got, well, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> That's not really an excuse. <laughs> I'm still in second, though. You are? Yeah, the, who went ahead of you? Not me. The, the same guy that's been. Oh. It's, I don't think it's one of those three, uh, five lights dudes. Uh, just some other guy that joined us. I True. can't remember the name right now because I don't have my laptop here. Damn. Again. Damn. I know, Damn. Failed. Jesus. Yeah. Lots of good stuff though. Uh, what do you think about the race though? Like, yeah, it was interesting. I don't know. Vettel let everybody down. <laughs> right. Right. More Hopefully. mistakes out of him than I'm. You know that. Than like yeah, yeah. ever put together. That was crazy. Hamilton killed it again. Of course. <laughs> it's Roscoe Rocket, man. <laughs> that's, that's I predict he's just going to floor everyone. That's that's what everybody pretty much expects. Yeah. I heard Unless he, something tragic happens. I'm not calling it or anything. I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> nice. It could happen to anyone, man. I heard he was in Zoolander. Oh, is he <laughs> really? That from you guys, actually. Yeah, he was yeah, dude, we talked gonna about be in last, Zoolander last 2. Sorry, man. <laughs> I'm in I state. didn't even know there was going to be a Zoolander 2. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> it's happening. It shouldn't be. But. <laughs> Leave it alone. I don't know, is he playing himself? Do you guys know? I have, uh, there's yeah. very little information about it. Didn't know. really yeah, say anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, he's going to be in the movie. You're like, oh, crazy. There, there was just a picture of him in the set. Uh, it's like I know whether he even has a speaky part. You know, yeah. he might just be. He could be just there. Yeah, <laughs> just being a fashion guy in the background. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. True. What else has happened? Actually, tons has happened, guys. Come on. <laughs> um, <laughs> last week we talked about. Uh, I think the biggest news of the week. Sorry, before we go back. Yeah. McLaren's livery changing. Oh my god. What does that mean? They're going to repaint their car to a different color. Not chrome. You know how they, there's four cars that look the same and they're not in the, the same Gillette team? The Gillette Razor? <laughs> yeah. yeah that one? <laughs> the twin Gillette Razor teams. Yeah, so, um, yeah they're going to change it. But it's I, I a have, secret, I guess, until Friday. I, I saw something pretty funny. Oh. <laughs> Go click here. That way, yeah. This one? <coughs> oh, yeah. Apologies. But, uh, so... Pastor Maldonado and uh, Jolyn Palmer did like this like promo bid for for Lotus. Like I guess uh, I watch I saw about it on uh, the F one show last mm -hmm. week's uh, F one show. It comes out on Friday on Sky. Um, <laughs> and in that picture, you can see and it's um, Pastor Maldonado there in the back driving the you know the current model or something similar to the current model. Yeah. And then Jolyn Palmer in front of him driving an historic. John Player special uh, Lotus from the 70s, I believe. Uh, either way, <laughs> this is a priceless car. And yeah. of course, they gave it to Joel. <laughs> Not even. <laughs> they gave it to the rookie test driver. Yeah. <laughs> they trust Joel and Palmer, their development driver, more than they trust uh, freaking Maldonado. <laughs> That's what that tells me. Go, go down. It's a cool car. When his, when his nickname is 
crashed an auto. Yeah. <laughs> I just kind of realized this. Like, I've had this picture uh, on my phone background for a while now. It's just, it's just uh, Maldonado. I don't know why I have this picture here. It's, 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 Does that it's, mean it's, you're going to break your phone? It's like a curse. No, it, it keeps... Re <laughs> I don't know. Okay, other people that have these <laughs> S5s, if they keep restarting all the time. Yeah. I know my other friends. Maldonado's like, crashing your phone. Yeah, I think that it happened on the bus. It happened on the bus on the way here. I was reading some F1 news and it just restarted. The bus yeah. just went like that and the phone restarted. <laughs> like being hit by Maldonado. Yeah. Oh, shit. Where am I? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't think the two are unrelated. I got to watch this, though. Yeah. it's it's How it's long did cool. they go around for? I don't know. I don't know the, the specific details. Who played? Uh, oh, two, it's two minutes. Yeah, it's just two right. minutes. There's a two minutes video. Well, and I want. I, can, can we just? Can we do it? I want to hear the hear that. Sure. Thing. Old car. This is from YouTube. We can show this. Yeah, we can show this like this. Yeah. Is it on camera? Like, what? Is it yeah, yeah. This is a. Seventy Formula One season. Seventy. Yeah. Wow, that sounded amazing. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So obviously they were not gonna let this uh, this car be driven by Maldonado. Can you imagine? <laughs> another, <laughs> another team filming day. I can't wait. Is uh, Brundle? You have to drive the Force India for like forty laps or something. That's amazing. I think he actually mm. crashed it. <laughs> but yeah, you get to drive like 40 laps for Sky. It filmed a whole bunch of uh, segments. I think they did a pit, pit stop segment. Oh, shit. A whole bunch of stuff I saw. Can't wait to. That's cool. Also, he, he kind of. I think they brought it up a little bit um, on the F1 show on, on Friday. And Brundle is like basically saying the same to uh, Hulkenberg. Like, yo, man, these cars, like, like, what? Like, I hear you guys complaining about these cars all the time, but like, these cars are fucking awesome. Like he's, like, he's, like, yeah, like this, he's like this is still like a proper formula one car like it's like crazy yeah i can't wait i love i love brundle and it, he's done a couple of these driving other cars down yeah he's so good at describing what's going on and everything yeah uh, it's cool for that. it's cool because he's like i mean <laughs> he's trying to commentate from inside the f1 car and like you saw how difficult it was for yeah. for uh for for uh richard hammond like, yeah feel like when he was in the f1 car he mostly like didn't say anything he yeah, was yeah. too busy like he was never never driven one before though right right yeah brundle because he has experience and he's just like a commentator like yeah like he tries to comment but you can tell that he that that it's like so difficult it sounds like he's yelling all the time and like kind of like like Holding his breath here and there, you can you can hear it on the team radios a lot of yeah. times too. Like you hear the guys' voices vibrating and yeah. <laughs> I need more power. It's like it's like yelling into a fan. <laughs> Sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's gonna be a good segment. Uh, let's. Uh, I think we should watch it whenever it comes out. I think it's oh, actually it's coming out for this weekend. Hopefully which this is weekend. The Spanish Grand Prix. Yeah. Oh, it's this weekend. This oh weekend. fuck! What time? By the fucking weekend. It's been three weeks. Uh, this one will be more reasonable time for us to watch because yeah. it'll be in the morning sometime. But I guess find out, I guess you can find out exactly what time. Yeah. For us, it'll be it was like five hours time difference. I think I'm from sure. Spain. Yeah, uh, yeah, six for, actually. Six hours. So yeah, yeah. so maybe eight a.m. or something. It's gonna be this past yeah eight a.m. Oh, that's eight a.m. Sunday. 
Still pretty unreasonable. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not like 2.30 in the morning or something, like the last bunch of flyaways. Have been. I'm more likely to stay up than I would to be to get up early. <laughs> <laughs> then again, I haven't watched any of the late, late night ones. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Uh, the, I don't know. Catching them live is usually tricky. It's, it, I don't know, I 8 a.m. At that point, I might be... I might be into watching it later, but uh, you get up early anyways. Yeah, get up even early when later. you're unemployed. Yeah, that but is, that you're not going to be getting sense. up early this Sunday. Well, no, yeah, I am. That's because I got got to work at the boat. Oh, oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> what time are you working? Have you just got a job? <laughs> yeah, I got a job. Apparently, <laughs> you're uh, sing that I'm on a boat. Apparently, they I'm play it boat. every time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh. Is this part of the interview process? Just to let you know, we're going to play the I'm on a boat song. Every day. Every shift. So. <laughs> Megan, Megan hates that song. Yeah. I'm not even a big fan of it either, to be honest. No. Uh, I'm well, sure if you're on a boat, though, it's appropriate. It, it is appropriate. Obviously. It's true, because it's, it's factual. <laughs> it's a big blue watery road. <laughs> That's straight lyrics awesome. from li- that we song. We live on a huge lake. Yeah. The big... The biggest. Oh, like Toronto's a great city. Let's not let's not let's not get mistaken about that. I feel like we <laughs> underutilize the lake. Our waterfront? Yeah. The top ten underutilized yeah. like things in Toronto. Like way, <laughs> yeah. way, way, way up there with city TV. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, they're on the, they're on the scene. Yeah. 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 Local news. I watch <laughs> you guys. Yeah. Good good yeah, good 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 stuff. Uh and um but but yeah, I, I'm gonna have to get up early, so I might have to watch it. But I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna watch it TSN or. I think well, it's gonna have to be Sky because we're gonna have to see that segment. Yeah, mm. that's true. <laughs> How early do the bars open? Where? What? Yeah. What? <laughs> Not early enough. That's also yeah. part of the problem. Not mm. early enough. That's so, like talking to those uh, Five Lights guys. I, like just hearing it from British people again. He's so spoiled. They got <laughs> this guy right there. The races are at reasonable times when the bars are open. Well, there, there's they're... there's some bars in Britain that just never close. But well, but yes. <laughs> well, I guess it's a little different than here. But you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's so close to uh, so many of the races. Just being spoiled with their uh, luxurious <laughs> television. Yeah, the they, tellies. That that just seems so like. Like, wh- why does it have to be that way now? Like, right. there, there's absolutely no reason why it's still, like, like split so harshly between different countries. Like, uh, the other day I was watching the Kaiser Report, and I forgot who it was. Like, one of their guests um, said something like, you know what? Like, the, the problem is that right now, um, a great number of people don't live in, like, a country that's called the United States or don't live mm. in a country that's called Canada. We live in a country that's called the internet. <laughs> and <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, right. Yeah. And, and, and like just all those old school, like divisions in between countries and whatever, just sort of blurred together. And, yeah. uh, and then they should be making full advantage of that as opposed to like trying to suppress it. Yeah. It's, we, we talk about this so much. It's so, <laughs> so many people talk about it in so many different yeah. format. I don't know. So I was surprised. Actually, the day I was uh, leaving, I texted you when I was at the bank because uh, I was t- I was taking a cab up to the airport and I got to stop. I forgot to take out money, and while I'm standing there, they have uh, these like uh, screens that show the news, but it wasn't like a news channel. It was their own news, like the banks. There's like showing like uh, get a loan, blah blah, and then they show like a news story. While I was standing there, I saw Formula One twice that I had to look down. One of them was something about Bernie Ecclestone. One of them was something about Bahrain. And I was like, ah, like, <laughs> like you're gonna spoil the spoil the weekend for me. <laughs> yeah, it was Monday morning, right? Like right after the race when yeah. I left. Oh Jesus! Yeah, I was, I was surprised though. I, was, I don't know if that bank has something to do with Bahrain that or Formula One finance or something. Because it was oh, like man. their own, it wasn't a news channel, right? Right, it was, it was. They chose the stories that were going up there. Big yeah. banks there. Yeah, yeah they, they'd be down. I was curious. The but like, two, I was there less than 10 minutes and t- saw <laughs> two stories about Formula One. <laughs> out of like, and encompassing the last few months, those are the only two that I've seen that I didn't look for on purpose. Right. <laughs> you know I mean? TD, you need to come cleaning with us. 
Are you trying to join Formula One? <laughs> <laughs> In some TD way, Green. shape, or form. Hey, McLaren livery? TD, TD Green. TD li- TD oh, Green livery. that would be kind of cool. I don't know what the new stories were. If they could tie them together or not. <laughs> trying not to spoil the race for myself. <laughs> interesting, though. You know, we need more of that. <clears throat> you know something interesting that I saw that I want to like just stop dicking around and jump right to, because because this is cr- like this That's is pretty crazy. Say. Up there on the top right, not the next one. This one, yeah. Yes. Look at this. Okay, let's talk about okay. this. This wild <laughs> speculation ahead. Yeah. Okay. So so this I don't know. Um. So I think this first appeared in Autosport magazine. And we're just on their website right now, and it's somehow it got leaked from FOM. I'm assuming or somebody's contact, but who knows with these things? And this could have been like also a self perpetuated leak. Um. But it's basically showing the calendar as it could be <laughs> Sorry. next year. Mike, can you stop screwing around with it. <laughs> I'm trying to get it fucking good on here. It's good. It's good. I can see it. <laughs> no, I know that on on here. <laughs> um, can can you see it? Are you good with it now? Is it? It's good is enough it for now. <laughs> yeah. Does it, does it align with your chakras? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now look. Okay. What is your first impression there, Daddy? Is Baku Azerbaijan? Yep. Wicked. Yeah. <laughs> but look look at the interesting thing. They're calling it they're gonna be calling Ger- it the European, European Grand European Prix. European Grand Prix, yeah. I heard that a few months ago, I don't know. And uh Germany's back apparently. Oh fuck. Hockenheim got their shit together, I guess. They must have uh, I don't know. Unless it's a tentative spot again. All of this is tentative. It, none of this is official. Oh shit. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, no. sorry buddy. <laughs> none of this is official. It's uh it's uh, it's a leak. <laughs> <laughs> where where this leak come from? Uh, Autosport magazine, uh, respected name in motorsport oh, yeah, reporting. Okay, I see, I see. <sighs> so but who who leaked it to them? Does it say? Uh, no, well, they. No, oh, like I would get fucking pe- murdered. Oh, it says uh, they have pieced together how it could look, based on current guess, information. But yeah. But look, okay. So here's here's a thing that's striking Noth- to that me. Nothing's too crazy. That's because you're not looking at it in detail, Daddy. Let me explain to you main things that main things that are happening here. Look at it. Look at it. Look at where it starts. April the third. We have to wait all the way till April. Like, oh, yeah. re- look, okay. look, 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 look. That that would have been uh, beginning of March this year. So yeah. we're gonna have to wait like an extra month. Maybe they didn't like all those leaves on the track. And another thing, you're gonna like, get it raked up by April. Jumps right to the eye. Let me tell you. Uh, yeah, what look at where Russia is. Russia is in between Bahrain and Spain at the beginning of the year, the first part of the year, instead of at the end. Yeah, I see that. I Ooh. see that. That's one of the main changes. Yeah, look, look. Okay, so every Europe month, is new. every month has at least two races. It, so from okay. April to November, it's gonna be a back to back go 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 season. Yeah, it's a lot I guess there's no uh, break. I guess. Yeah, they're they're they're, they're Somehow, something's happening here, though, because they're not showing a break. Right, I guess. Right? Two weeks. W- where else? One uh, week. Um, Malaysia, at the very end, with uh, with Singapore. Not yeah. at the beginning, remember? That, that was, like, at the yeah, beginning? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the, kind of, the, well... I think that I they're... they're closer, well, right? they're proposing this, and I think they're... they're, they're uh, if anything... And, and this is why I think that some of this might have been, like, a control leak, is because I think FOM... Uh, would like it to be like that, and the teams probably would like it to be not not necessarily exactly like this, but a lot like this. Because uh, instead of having, remember when when this Russia was so awkward, and this year it is again, because they have to fly like so far out of their way, like all the way from Japan to whatever to Russia, it just wasting a lot, right? So yeah. It, it, uh, same with this Malaysia have like big like we were talking about this how Malaysia and Singapore are so close like probably like a, a few hours drive from each other but because yeah. they're so spread apart in the, in the calendar like this this could save somebody having them back to back yeah for sure uh, Canada's like really the only really out of place one but I guess they paid for their spot for ten years we paid for their spot for ten years I guess yeah between Monaco and Britain Canada's out of the way. Uh, but yeah, I do, and it I has, do see there a lot, be, a lot. It has to be really that way because uh, Mon- uh, the Canadian Grand Prix has to happen at the beginning of uh, of summer in Montreal. That's the only that's the only weekend that it fits because uh, the other weekends are pretty much booked in between yeah. the Montreal Jazz Festival and everything else. So it has to happen Oshiega. at the beginning of June. Yeah, Oshiega, etc. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah I'm just, okay, I'm just looking over it one more time. Yeah, I guess it, it makes quite a bit of sense, I guess. Japan to U.S. is a big flight, but then U.S., Mexico, Brazil. Those make, And then yeah. Abu Dhabi, I guess, has paid to close out the season as well. That's out of place. I have a theory. Because they have... They I have, had a question. They have okay, the, go, go, go. They have the ex- rich-ass country with the the sunset race and all that. What are you pouring? Water. Oh. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> um, the weather in Russia, what is that like? Like, what is the Russian track like? In uh, in May, I guess, should be... I think Sochi is subtropical. Is yeah. it? That's why everyone was like, why are they having the Winter Olympics there? Yeah, no, I, yeah, I, think I was they confused either way. Some sorts of palm trees grow there. It's on the, yeah, it's, on uh, the, it's this, I think the weather is supposed to be very temperate. Yeah, it's crazy. Just, it's just in a weird spot or some, somewhere. On the, it's on the Black Gulf Sea. Gulf Stream. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's because they're, they're close to the Black Sea. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. They get all the like, the hot desert like uh, air. Yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, there's not going to be any snow there or anything. There, there wasn't any snow there for the Winter Olympics. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so. They brought it in from Siberia. <clears throat> no, they just drove like three hours to the mountains. <laughs> it was just, yeah, it was in a different spot. It's, it, it, I guess Sochi is a, is a bit like Vancouver in the sense that it's it's a coastal town, but it's not too far from the mountains. But, uh, okay. but Whistler is way closer to Vancouver than the, the mountains of Sochi where to Sochi. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Crazy, yeah. yeah. That's why it's like they built all those stadiums there, and they're just kind of sitting there now. Yeah, now they're only used like once a year for the race, and not even that maybe. Like, is there look? There's like, rumors there's talk about changing this, right? Yeah, oh, really? There's, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if Putin directly, but so, somebody in Russia really wants it in Moscow, like a street race. Which oh, it makes fuck. sense in Moscow. That'd be yeah, fucking cool. not necessarily as capital. a street. Yeah. Race because maybe not not because more the, more street circle, like, circuits though, but definitely in Moscow it would make a lot of sense to have it. I don't, I don't mind street circuits. Right. Depends. Wait, I guess how many well, street circuits Azer- are there? Azerbaijan is a new street circuit. Yeah, it would be. It's kind of squared off. Actually, see if you can look that up. Um, the proposed layout for Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Grand Prix. Yeah. Uh, like this. A A Z E. Google will find it though. Yeah, there you B, go. B, yeah, B A I J A N. Ground Prix. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, let's look at uh, a layout. <laughs> look it's so like, silly. It's, it's, supposed to, yeah, it's like a big rectangle thing. It's supposed to drive along uh, some sort of a like, historic yes. wall. Why is this so silly? It looks like a key almost, like an old school skeleton <laughs> key. You know what I mean? So yeah. It's like it could be pretty cool, actually. I don't know. That square part. And yeah, that's how, the, the, so this is around the old like city, right? Like Around the old town. Yeah. Some Somewhere on that. I guess probably east side of it is supposed to be uh, goes along a historic wall or something. I forget exactly. There's a wall on one of those two streets that it goes along. Oh shit! They wanted it it does look kind of fucked. Can we? Go- <laughs> I, don't know what I mean, I mean, like all these like right angles. Yeah, like, that's so fucked. That can, is fucked. Like, can, what, how does that they, play? This out? will be okay, but it so, seems alright. See, ah, uh, so, uh, I guess we're not gonna. If we could find this on the Google map and see like a satellite. Or you can, um, oh, there actually there was one on the images there. If you go, I think on the right, yeah, there, there's one. This one here or this one? Right this there, one? yeah, that Actually. one and the one below it. Below, below might be might be better resolution. Oh, yeah, similar. Let it load. Let it load. Let it load up. Oh, <laughs> didn't change. Yeah, I don't know. it's kind of hard to tell. Oh, I guess it's near a lake. It's scenic. It's kind of hard to tell what it might be like. Yeah, hopefully, it's cool. hopefully it's, it's cool. I love how they, they, they brought in new tracks like every yeah a lot for the last couple of years. That's true. Almost like every single year for I don't even know how many years five maybe. There is something that I have to say though. What's that? Go back, go back, go back to to the, to the previous tab. Remember how I I just said that. Each month from April to no, to the end, the beginning of April to the end of the member, of November has at least one race. Oh, sorry, at, at least, least two, two races. Yeah. So there's not going to be any more than a three week break in between races once the season gets going. Holy so kind of like, kind of like what just happened. Yeah. <clears throat> it's only, it's I think only that that's, Tuesday I think, right I think, now. I think I think that fucking do that. Keep that pace up and do 30 races. Yeah. Why just stop at 20? But 
understandably so everybody that's in F1 and like actually goes out to the races or whatever to say that this kind of schedule is very very taxing sure right? like it's, I was it about to ask even, even on the watching to be honest yeah. I would <laughs> rather have the breaks yeah. like, like even now it, this one worked out perfect with vacation that came up but yeah it was, was a three week break I don't know what's the F1 following like... in Jamaica <laughs> <laughs> actually you know what man I think in the future a champion could come from there man like the way people drive there is ridiculous <laughs> okay you, t- you told me about there's this place if anyone ever goes to Montego Bay yeah. um, take a cab to Scotchies the, the, the second time we went there twice because it was amazing barbecue but uh, the second time we went the uh driver didn't even know where it was like he hadn't even heard of it so it's, but it's it's amazing but uh this on this the first time we went there on the way back it was night like we went back at like it was pretty late right and this rasta guy picks us up in this like i'm not trying to be rude but this car was a piece of shit <laughs> yeah, that was there for nine days and i went in like nine or ten i would say at least like we went in a lot, a lot of taxis and shit different cars that i've never heard of or seen before in my life some of them some of them are the same models we have here but they have different names right. but i've seen i saw a, I, don't, I couldn't remember what it is but like brands of cars i never saw everything's right hand drive which is weird to get used to it's shit like, yeah like Britain, right? Right for influence, yeah so this rasta dude he's telling us about the area i was and like we're, we are kind of like drunk and i'm not sure if he was sober yeah so he picks us up starts driving us back to our, the condo that we rented and then he stops on the way and picked up another guy who was just standing on the side of the road. And so he, he was talking to us driving, like, they all drive these super economy cars, too. They're like one liter engines in all these cars. They're yeah. like revving, and they rev them like, <laughs> <laughs> no mufflers in Jamaica, like, yeah. blowing exhaust everywhere. It stinks. He's sitting like this, like looking backwards at us driving. And the guy that he picked up was like, Watch the road, man. Watch the road. Like, fucking crazy. <laughs> and he's like, don't tell me how to drive. I'm not going to crash. He's this old Rasta guy. He's, he's in his 50s. He's yeah. driving like crazy. Like, the road's like this. The next Formula <laughs> One driver is coming from Jamaica. You heard it here first. Doesn't he have to, he have to use his eyes? He just knows. <laughs> yeah, it might take a decade, but there will be someone from there, man. If you learn to drive in Jamaica, you can drive anywhere. <laughs> Imagine like a street race. Like on a Caribbean island, <laughs> that would be sweet. That would be cool. Yeah, or just a race period, just yeah. purpose built it. Why not? You do. I was real estate is a bit of a thing. I, would I wonder suppose. if there's any rallies down there. Probably not. Ah uh, no. That's one thing I didn't get to check out was the mountains there. I'm okay. Sure they're treacherous. I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be amazing though. Jamaican driver. I wanna go. I wanna go back to to this. Yeah, just I don't, one I don't more like time. the schedule, man. Yeah. I don't like it. But. Well, Here's the, the what I think. Schedule is fine, but the the, the crunchedness together. I wanna I wanna propose something because uh, for, uh, just going back to what I was saying, yeah, it's very grueling to have to like be away from home so long, right? Um, and and it's like mentally taxing and physically taxing too. So I think that much like what happened this year with with Germany, I think from the beginning, Bernie knew that that he was gonna drop Germany. Right, there's there's every indication that he wasn't gonna budge, that he wasn't gonna agree with the terms. This is what everybody thought, right? Like whatever, whatever every, anybody that knew anything about F one br- uh, brought up the fact that the German Grand Prix was still tentatively in the schedule. Nobody believed it. Everybody was like, "Nah, that's it's not gonna happen this year," right? Yeah, I think they're waiting on something like this to happen. As in. We have, so look at what, what look at what we have in August. Like so, the the, the traditional uh, break happens in and around August, right? Yeah, that's the traditional long uh, F one holiday or whatever. Um, this year is a bit weird because uh, Germany drops, so there's like a gap of three weeks right around Hungary. There's nothing before and nothing after. Um, but look at here, Hungary is gonna be safe. We know that. Like nobody's gonna mess with Hungary. No. Germany is probably not gonna drop next year because like next year is uh, the like it's it's the Nurburgring third, is it? I, I don't know. It's Hockenheim again. I think it would have been. Yeah. It would have been Hockenheim. It, this yeah. year would have been Nurburgring. That's didn't. That's why it didn't happen. Because yeah. did they take turns? 
Right, right, yeah, they take turns. Really? The, the Nuremberg yeah. Ring this year, for anyone that doesn't know, got sold. And then the new owners, I guess, didn't get their shit together or the paperwork. Because it wasn't supposed to be it wasn't supposed to be their, their turn. It was supposed to be the the um the, the Nurburgring's turn, but the Nurburgring right. and they can't, got, couldn't afford it, so and, and then Hockenheim changed, didn't have they time. They changed owners, right? And then Hockenheim didn't have time to get their yeah. shit together. So was... Exactly. So, but but by next year they will sort it out, and and I'm sure that like enough people will go to Hockenheim because enough people go to Hockenheim to keep Hockenheim alive. So that's what's gonna happen. Hungary said no trouble. Belgium and Italy are in trouble. Why right? do you think that? Because they're, they're so be, close to no, each other. No, no, they've been saying that for a while in financial trouble. Yeah, they've been saying for a while that uh, uh, that Belgium and Italy were basically next on the list. And I <laughs> think go. I think that one of these two uh, Grand Prix is in the next scope for Bernie to actually go and like ask for more, for more money, saying like, "I have no problem dropping you from the calendar. We need a break." So either you like. <clears throat> percent more money now I'd say that <laughs> he'd be more likely to get more money out of Italy exactly because of Ferrari. Ferrari is not gonna go without a home race right but I'm Ferrari I'm Ferrari has I'm surprised that Mercedes did. Ferrari has political power Ferrari can just be like yeah, what do you, what do you mean if we ha- if we don't have a home race next year we're just not gonna race so. seniority yeah so <laughs> they, 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 yeah it, Arriva Beta is gonna slap Bernie around if he comes asking for more money for the for the Italian Grand Prix, but <laughs> so you but, think it's Spa? Yes, I think Spa. I think Spa is in a real danger of being dropped or at least threatened. This is gonna be, if anything, this is gonna be used as a negotiation token to ask for the Belgians for more money. But the thing about the Belgian Grand Prix is that it's in the middle of farm country. It, yeah, nobody's gonna like it. Has to, it, they're not paying enough, uh, or they're not paying an exuberant amount of money to host the 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 Belgian Grand Prix right now because they just can get those pe- oiled up. People want it to be. It's it's. In many in many ways, one of the best races of the year for sure. Actually, like the track is one of the like most like most people think that that Spa is a very it's right up there. What did you say? So yeah, it's badass. It's the yeah. longest track by well, actually, Russia is kind of close now, but no, but yeah, it's the longest one. Yeah, but Russia's kind of close. It's got some Russia. mythical corners, Eau Rouge. Eau Rouge. Yeah, you can't do with that uh, with that. So that I th- I think F one fans will. Will like do want uh, Spa to stay, but I don't know. I think I think Bernie is gonna use this to push uh, the people that are that, that organize Spa to like almost the breaking point in terms of how much they can they can charge, and that's just gonna translate to more expensive tickets uh, for the people going to the races. And I don't think that that's fair because yeah, that, and that's a camp out race yeah. too. Yeah, there's Everybody's, nothing. There's nothing around there. Like, there's no. It, it, you can't get away with like asking for the same that even like that they ask uh, Montreal because you go out yeah. there to the middle of the for you're in the middle of the forest in Belgium. There's like yeah, there's, there's two there's little towns close to it. Forest, That's yeah. it. Really? Yeah. But it's still it's such a great race and and it gets packed every year because it's for it's for the real fans mm. and they don't yeah, charge a lot. Yeah, the general place. admission area is like it's apparently huge. Like you just. For and for the cheapest tickets, you can get pretty sick views uh, all around, like some like historic like parts. So it's it's it it, it but it's it's it, it's not in the same kind of financial situation as somewhere like Baku with oil mm-hmm. money. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the European Grand Prix. Anyway, so that's that's my two cents on on, on that calendar. That's what I think. Cool. Yeah, it's interesting. I wouldn't have thought of that. But yeah, it makes sense. I I don't like actually how it's all squashed together though. The bre- the brakes are good. Yeah, gets you more revved up for the next race. <laughs> super, super psyched for this yeah. weekend. Oh, the Spanish Grand Prix. Yes. Danny, do you do you wanna do you wanna like take us through of why it's so exciting about this Grand Prix, the Spanish Grand Prix? Well, they, they tested there a lot. So oh, it's safe to say that all the drivers know the track inside and out except for Pastor Maldonado probably <laughs> right does he yeah. crash every time on that one? <laughs> he had his only his one and only victory in in Spain in, oh really yeah as far as um, he's gonna relive the gl- glory I don't think so no. he's shit I don't know how that <laughs> uh, nobody knows how that victory happened <laughs> yeah. the Alonso story is obviously gonna come back up again 
Oh yeah. How did he get electrocuted on that corner? <laughs> what? <laughs> Remember, because at the beginning of the year, I also got electrocuted for, uh, during testing, and he had to miss the first race. Oh no. Yeah. Uh, and it was there. It was in Barcelona. Yeah, that's where they were testing. The the track is awesome. It's pretty You'd think cool. you'd give him like superpowers or something. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't that be sweet? <laughs> yeah, just superpowers not to finish any races this year. <laughs> hey, they're doing better. Uh, uh, McLaren, we'll back up, back up there. Yeah, we'll look at this scarves thing in a minute. After we, Let's talk about this for a minute, though. Yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, it's it's good. It's fast. It's a fast track. It's it's one of the oh, yeah. shorter tracks too. There's lo- lots and lots of laps, so yeah. more more room for strategy. I wanted to ask you this, but I didn't wait till the show. What's Ab Abu Lafio? I have no idea. Oh, is that just the name in the corner? I, I think so. It's, okay. <laughs> and it's also like okay, so they they actually have um, like the stuff that's not in English there. <laughs> It's actually yeah. in Catalan, so that's not even Spanish. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. yeah. You know how in Barcelona they don't really speak Spanish, but they do. They actually do. And, oh, and it, really? they, but it, they try to claim like it's it's a different language, but it's not really. I mean, it's, it sounds kind of weird. Like it's it's like a weird Spanish, but <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was just saying it's, it's one of the shorter tracks, so lots of laps. There's more room for different strategies to happen. It's a real European and, race track. Yeah, and as you, you're saying, I think, well, you're joking, but like Maldonado knowing this track, like most racers, I think, in Europe know this track. getting Because a lot of different leagues and different series. Yeah. Oh, I here. see. Okay. And actually, this weekend, uh, the GP2 and GP3 series, GP3 series starts this weekend at this track. Oh, all, shit. All three racing here this weekend. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Uh, the city's kick ass. I've been to Barcelona. It's like yeah. I can see how I, I I can see why it's a very popular tourist destination. Like if you go to like you know if you go to a, a travel agency here yeah. in, in Canada or in the U S. Like and you, and you say like I want to go to Spain. Like they're just gonna tell you like go to Barcelona because yeah. that's like and it's it's very it's it's very different to to many other places in Spain. Like <laughs> i.e. the other big city is Madrid. Sorry. And Madrid is like very, very Spanish. Like mm. it's like it feels very Spanish. Like everybody's like very, 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 very Spanish. <laughs> Barcelona is like there's just so many tourists that it's very like heterogeneous society. I think like there's t- and there's tons of like people from like Canada and the U.S. living there. So it almost feels like so, yeah. So some places you just go out like everybody's sp- speaking English. So how close? How close to the city is it? It's like the uh, track, the track? a half an hour drive. Yeah, it's it's not bad. I guess you didn't actually go there. No, no, no. I didn't go to the to the Spanish Grand Prix to my demise. Well, to the the track at all or whatever. Yeah. No, no. Yeah, I true. I stayed within the city, yeah. but it's it's. I, I would like to go just just cause it's a it's a pretty cool track and it's a pretty cool city. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. Big stories that are that you're looking forward to. <laughs> Well, I don't know. Let's see McLaren <laughs> deliveries. See if they can finish a race with their new livery. But but that's that's the thing, see man. Everybody faster. Everybody's waiting for all these new updates and shit. Oh yeah, I guess there's gonna be a bunch of aero updates this yeah. weekend. All, all the bigger teams are like talking no, about no, bringing... no engine stuff though. No, uh, Honda apparently replaced uh, has used two tokens. Oh, two tokens. Two tokens. Okay. Yeah. I heard uh, from they expect to get. I'm expect they're expecting big updates for Canada. I guess. Oh, probably. Yeah. Not like for not not just Honda, like all the teams. Yeah. And engine wise, engine wise. I bet. Canada, yeah, like, they gotta crank it for Canada, man. Remember, like Canada, like everybody switches their engine because it's such a yeah, it's such a different it's, demand from the previous two tracks, so, which mm. is. Actually, it's do you know like it's the Spanish Grand Prix, then Monaco, then Canada, in Canada. Then it's, we're then we're there. Oh, we're there. <laughs> yeah, we we're, were talking about this before. The thing is five weeks. Yeah, five weeks. Five weeks. Something like that. It's June, whatever. The first weekend of June. So Jesus. we're in the first week it's of May. First week of May. It's coming up. <laughs> yeah, yes. and we have a very sp- ho- a wide host of very special things going on for the for the Canadian Grand Prix. Yeah, uh, look up to we will be announcing them within the next couple of weeks uh, yeah. coming up. But uh, but yeah, uh, very excited yeah, so. about that. But no no, it's, dude, yeah, we're we're almost there. And um, yeah, but, uh, McLaren, Honda or Honda rather I should say have used two tokens and apparently Do you know what on. 
I don't remember exactly, but uh, they expect to get like 20 to 30 extra horsepower. Whoa, yeah. that's efficient. Yeah. Efficient use of points. Yeah. <laughs> if they, if, what are they, they got 12, no, nine? Nine. They got nine. I think yeah. so. So uh, out of out of nine, if they use you, you if they use two, then they have so seven saying, left. Like if, they, if they can get that efficiency, they get like another 150 horsepower coming. That sounds a bit ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. If they can get twenty to thirty horsepower for two points, but they're still they're still lagging behind, and like this is the point. Like, uh, yeah, and, yeah, that's I, that's true. And actually, they uh, might need to, to get another hundred fifty horsepower. Yeah, yeah, they're they're lagging behind. Like, it, and that might be the deficit yeah. in between, like they're the top performers of Mercedes and uh, and McLaren and Honda right now. Uh, just an engine alone, it might be a, a deficit of like about a hundred. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's true. we we don't know if we've seen like the very top performance of Mercedes yet. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Yeah, but um, oh, what was I just gonna say? Oh yeah, actually, a story that came out today related to this is that um, Nicky Lauda, yeah, he came out and said that Mercedes, like, remember, uh, like, just before the season started or just at the start of the season, engines blowing up at the first race and everything. Uh, there's immediately talk about five engines again this year. Oh, man. This, and at yeah. that time, there was unanimous support yeah. amongst the teams. And uh, today, Nicky Lauda said that, no, Mercedes absolutely will not be supporting the five engines this year. They're what do you think that is? It because they, <laughs> they have the most reliable engine. And I think they're probably thinking that if, if they have to use five engines, everybody else will, too. And there's a good chance that some teams will have to use six, and they'll still be at an, at an advantage. Yeah. You know what I mean? Rather than, yeah, I, I remember that thing. <laughs> and they'll still be at an advantage, either way. So it, it makes sense for them. The fuck do you got there? It's just a, it's like raspberry infused water. Oh my god! How many containers of liquid did you bring? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, so many. What is important? I got my drink. three. Do you have three? I got four. You got four? <laughs> I only have two. How do you have four? I mean, to be fair, I got tea and some water here, but I got tea, beer, and water too. I don't know. Step I, it I, up, Mike. I'm kind of like water. recovering from a cold. So Jesus, you're always you're always recovering. <laughs> it seems that way lately. What the fuck? But as as you guys In were the talking, spring. Sorry, yeah, that's true. All the yeah. pollen. Yeah. But as you guys were talking about last week with the the five lights guys. For this race, up, updates are going to be, I think, mostly aero stuff. I said from Honda. Yeah, yeah. Honda, I said. Because as, as you are saying, all the flyaway races, it's a lot of boxes to bring. Yeah. All, yeah. Kind, all kinds of wings and wings and things. And, and things take, take uh, you know, carbon fiber parts, they take a long, long, long time, time to, to make. make. Yeah. yeah. So mm. they they've, they've roughly only have had time to, like, make any, like, major developments in terms of, of aero, like, now, if they started like at the beginning of the year, uh, like at uh, the first race, kind of. Yeah, I guess so. You know what I mean? Like some something like that, uh, in, in terms of everything that comes into developing a new part, right? Like the mm. CFD and whatnot. Um, so so it's gonna be amazing to see that. It's gonna be great to see if like at least some teams are gonna be going in one direction or the other. Mm -hmm. And again, we. So I think this track needs lots of downforce. Right. And Monaco coming up. So that's what, yeah, because so many teams are going to reveal a lot of, like, their cards. Because once you stick with, like, a major aero direction, it's not, it's not easy to change throughout the, uh, like, for, for, for the year, right? Yeah. And, and, we, and we see that a lot with teams that start with one direction and then uh, by the time Spain comes around, uh, they're starting to realize that that wasn't a good way to go. But by by then, somebody said that by then it's it's already too it's late. Too late to yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's, yeah like you're, you're right. The wings from the front to the sides to the back all influence, and underneath and in the diffuser, they all have to work together. They all influ they all influence <laughs> yeah. each other. Exactly. The way the air moves. So it's it, and this is why uh, what I was saying that uh, uh, remember that AMA that. Uh, F1 journalist extraordinary Joe Sayward uh, <laughs> did, um, and one of the things that he said is that roughly by you know the end of Spain, you you end up knowing like pretty much like where the season is gonna go roughly like in general terms like you're gonna see like I think well you know what because the teams have a mountain of, of data like they 
like what Mercedes uh, broke records at testing this year with how many kilometers they did. They did yeah, that's true. Multiple multiple race distances around this track. Yeah, so they have a mountain of data of how the car performed. Except for McLaren, I guess they didn't do anything. Yeah, <laughs> well, all the other teams have tons of data about how their car has performed three months ago. Compared to now, they're gonna like you said, they're gonna know if they're going the right direction or not. It makes a lot of sense, actually. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, and, and and then and then it's, it becomes like like so. It, 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 best example that I can think of that is uh, Ferrari. Ferrari by last year by Spain, we knew that they were gonna go nowhere, right? Yeah. And and the rest of the year from Spain onward to uh, for Ferrari was just kind of trying to catch up in like little fixes. And then towards the end of the year, they pretty much like knew that like they were giving up on that year and started developing uh, this year's Good, car. Yeah. W- worked, for worked, out. Yeah. <laughs> worked out for them. Yeah, worked out for them. Worked for them. But yeah, like, that's that's the kind of insight that you get uh, at the Spanish Grand Prix, and I'm very much looking forward to that. Yeah, let's yeah. see. Yeah. I want to see another battle with uh, hopefully Vettel uh, gets his head together the past couple of weeks. <laughs> it's a couple of mistakes. Yeah, what happened there, Bahrain? I don't know, man. He went off the track. Did you see the race? You, uh, you part, of part, part of it. Part of it. Yeah. Yeah, he went off the track <clears throat> three times at least, I think. And it was kind of weird that they pit, like, I don't know, how, like how damaged his front wing was when they pitted him to switch it. Yeah. Well, he was saying so, that it wasn't, like, he, he wanted it changed. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> maybe it was just shaking. I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't know. I thought that was crazy. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> but I, st- I still want to see. Like I, like I don't know. Like I get obviously like Kimmy beat him square and fair, oh, fair and square. Oh yeah. But I want to see them fight still. I f- like Vettel like, wasn't like obviously it was fair and square. But I want to see Vettel at his best, <laughs> like fight Kimmy on the I don't, I don't, on the Peter Windsor channel. I guess uh, that was his best though. It probably yeah. On the Peter Wizard channel a couple of years ago, or a couple of years ago, a couple of episodes ago, like a couple of weeks ago, actually, maybe less than that. Um, uh, Joe Macari, I think it was, or no, actually, Peter Winter himself sat down with uh, um, Rob Wilson, which is a, a, like a, a, a trainer, a, a, an F1 co- or like a driving coach. For, and, and remember, like, when oh, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. When Dude, we talked to, to Tatiana, yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. So, anyway, yeah, like, it's it, in another one uh, of, of uh, of, of the videos on the Peter Windsor channel. And honestly, it's, it's a pretty cool uh, channel, this Peter Windsor. Yeah, um, he, he's talking about how, like, can we, can we basically bring the discussion to the fact that Kimmy was faster than Vettel? And and Kimi like has he was, dem- he was killing it on the mediums and he was he has demonstrated that he can be faster than Vettel like like race after race the he has he has that moments when he's like be either up there or faster yeah on the harder <laughs> tire he he was beating them he was beating yeah. everybody he was pulling fast laps fastest laps yeah so so Kimi Raikkonen was like what a performance great mm-hmm. I mean a lot of people are, like really like the way that. Uh, um, that Nico Rosberg Rosberg's, drove. Yeah, those three, well, the, the, like three perfectly identical passes. Yeah. Until his brakes failed at the end. <laughs> and they, they say that, that Lewis's uh, brakes were ha- were having the same problem, right? So who knows, like... Yeah, it's, uh, kind, of, it's kind of weird. Too. Like, I watched, uh, like, the post show on Sky when yeah. uh, they... Did you see that when they... I don't know if, if anyone that saw it, when they're doing... During the part where they did the uh, TED's talk and they interrupted him to talk to Hamilton for a minute. Okay, mm-hmm. no... Anyway, anyway yeah. whatever he he was uh, Hamilton was basically describing that he the pedal is a break by wire system. So what I interpreted from it was I think that that pedal, yeah. the the stiffness of it and the uh, the road feel and all that is uh, generated by a computer with like a, some sort of resistance. Because he said his pedal just went soft to the floor oh. even though he was braking and that's what they locked up. Yeah. And he said he went like on the computer on the steering wheel and reset the steering wheel oh shit yeah so he, he said he reset he did a he control reset, delete yeah basically he reset <laughs> the braking system while he was driving if i don't know for anyone that saw that that's sick no i didn't see that yeah so it's kind of interesting i thought like maybe and maybe it's different this year or i was probably just wrong that i thought that the brakes still were the the high, the front the high, brakes but high, not the rear ones yeah but yeah but i, I assume <laughs> that that pedal would still be like 
like physically attached mechanically to the hydraulic system. Oh. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, basically it failed, and I guess same thing happened to uh, Rosberg, but he didn't oh, get his reset. I guess so. You're just going by like. So it had to do with the control electronics. Yeah, basically, yeah. It's shit. almost like a video game. It's not quite a spring, but it's like mm. computer con- controlled resistance in that pedal. Holy shit! And I, I assume the throttle is the same way. Maybe the throttle is just a spring. That wouldn't throw that wouldn't, could be a, just a spring. Yeah, yeah. It wouldn't really need feedback. But I guess. yeah, with with it's with these systems, it's all probably is also yeah. controlled with the computer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so whatever that that cost uh, Rosberg and um, as uh, Ted said in the the end of his uh, his his his, his uh, notebook. If you have a chance, when you're in front, there's I guess there's a debate. He said, see, young racers, I guess, debate. If you're in front, is it worth pushing hard and just keep building as much of a gap as you can? Or just, just cruise and save your save your car in case somebody fights you? But in that case, his, his gap closed right back down, right? Yeah. The Riceberg was right behind him at the end. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's cool. No, I'm sure we'll see like uh, uh, some more of that fighting. Uh, in, in, it's gonna carry on through to uh, to Spain. I mean, let's let's be honest. At the end of the day, nobody's expecting anything but um, um, uh, a Mercedes domination, mm-hmm. or at least we know that one of the two Mercedes is gonna win. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know that, that that's what most people are expecting for sure. Sorry if I'm talking about Bahrain too much too. Like I just actually saw it on two days ago. <laughs> it's on Sunday. Still afternoon. fresh. Yeah, yeah it's it's super good. fresh. Still good. It's still good. It's super fresh. It's like I'm seeing them back to back. No three week gap. <laughs> Um, like I'm doing a personal preview of next season. Talking of that Peter Windsor channel, there was an, there, the most recent video that we that we have. I think it's like that one, the YouTube one in the middle. That one, yeah, not to right, yeah, that one. Yeah, so it's what well, we're still sort of talking about Honda and engines. Yeah, this is I, cool I because I, yeah, sorry, I go ahead. yeah I, uh, you were showing me this for well, both of us uh, just before the show, but I didn't want to. Didn't want to hear anything about it. So, race car engineering uh, managed to get a hold of a few like really high resolution, really nice pictures of um, of 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 the, of the Honda engine when they were yeah, replacing I the battery. This. Yeah, d- during practice, <laughs> I think. Yeah. Um, it, it, number one, it looks really cool, but when I look at it, it doesn't say anything to me, right? I was just, I'm like, right. holy shit, like that's a cool fucking engine, and it, <laughs> I could I could tell it looks d- different yeah. than the other ones. Um, but obviously there's, there's people like Scarb that are highly technically trained, I'm, I'm assuming, and can, can figure these things out from, from looking at it. Sharp eyes for sure. Yeah. Um, and a number of things basically with, with the angles that they had, they, they were only able to like see certain things, but with whatever they, they were able to see, they, they could be pretty much certain about a number of things. And this is just the analysis that, that I've read. From and that I've uh, watched from many other technical uh, people uh, agree. They they all sort of agree on on many points. Mm-hmm. Uh, number one, uh, well, or, or one of them is that yeah, McLaren have gone with um, a radical style that sort of combines elements from from the other well from the Ferrari and the and the Mercedes Honda. Uh, Honda. Or sorry, yeah, <laughs> Honda has gone with with a design that re, uh, that, that, that combines uh, Ferrari uh, and Mercedes, uh, or or at least borrows from some of them. So you don't don't forget everybody that the uh, Red Bull team was running was not sorry. What am I saying? Sorry, the McLaren team was not running a Honda engine last year. Yeah, they had the Mercedes, Mercedes engine. Yeah. To uh, I'm sure they took it apart and looked at what was inside. <laughs> exactly. Somehow. Yeah. <laughs> Another thing that 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 uh, you could tell from uh, from this is that they've actually bundled all of the electronics uh, together with the battery. Now that um, some people are speculating and, and Skyrim's definitely thinks that it's gonna save some weight because you don't have uh, like the, the cords, the cables. yeah, the, with the cables and whatnot. And and just the, the way that they were able to do it, um, in, in in such a tight way, uh, it's, it's definitely gonna give them some some advantage at that point. But uh, they have other uh, other things about the, the the engine that are more traditional. But one that obviously is, is gonna make the huge difference once they get it working properly is gonna be. Uh, can you fast forward to that? Uh, yeah, turbo, there you go, right? the turbo, and they've opted for doing something. Like, um, 
or I guess in the same spirit at the beginning with, with what Mercedes does is that, <clears throat> and it's that Mercedes has uh, the turbo and the compressor <laughs> um, split. split. But they have it in such a way that the turbo the the, the, the turbine is at the back, uh, like where the exos, uh, exos goes in, and then the compressor is at the front. And typically, if you look at a, a like a normal turbocharger, uh, those two parts are the same attached. diameter. Okay. Yeah, and they're attached. Oh. And they're like they're together and they're the same diameter and they're attached, right? Um, with the Mercedes, they basically did like they they split it, but they were still the same diameter. Okay. Um, or the same circ- uh, radius or whatever. I, hand me the mouse there for one second. Yeah. Just. Yeah. For anyone that doesn't fully know how the turbo works here. These three yeah. are so there's six cylinders on this engine. There's three facing this angle and three on this angle. Right. In the V configuration. There are, is everyone seeing the screen right now? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So the so these are the three cylinders on this side and they all go into this exhaust pipe which feeds into this hole. See that? Mm-hmm. So on the other side there's three more exhausts for the other six three cylinders that comes around and feeds in this hole, which both spin this. So this is the turbo turbine which go it makes this spin around like a hundred thousand rpm holy shit yeah. so the exhaust from both sides comes through here spins the turbine and shoots out here now a normal which, which a normal turbo a, sorry go ahead yeah so yeah but just by a shaft spins this compressor which is sucking air from the intake but, but a normal turbo oh, would would have a, another piece close to the size of this one very similar looking attached to it Pulling the air at the oh, same okay. time, right. Mercedes split it. McLaren or Honda, what they've done is What's actually it? because on the Mercedes engine, the other the uh the, the compressor sat so somewhere around here, right? Like, mm-hmm. but on the outside of the engine, they've actually put the compressor inside, like inside the, v, the inside the V configuration. It now shortens everything. Yeah, yeah. Jesus. What now? This it, it it all goes back to that radical packaging, whatever that they're looking at uh, to do. But now, obviously, the, the point zero size, zero size. Yeah, the zero size packaging, of of course, yeah, and it and it gives uh, a number of advantages that they're I'm sure looking for. But obviously, inside the engine, you can't see it, so you you can't tell from the photographs what that looks like. They just mm. know that there is a turbo compressor somewhere inside, right? Oh fuck! Now. What what some people are speculating and and uh, what uh, Scarbs I think is seems to be speculating is that instead of using the more traditional design for um uh, uh, for the sorry for the compressor fan, they're using something more like a like a turbine like a jet engine type of compressor. Yeah, like a, this is I got I, I tried to get like I didn't really have enough time, but I I saw this story and I started to read about it and I saved the Wikipedia pages, <laughs> but I get super t- there's. Something called an axial turbine, mm. which is, I believe, what they're using. Right. Which has it sort of combines two types of blades, I think. Mm. Sort of, I don't know. And what, what's the other? The conical, I guess, is the, which what? is this what most of the other teams are using, which is more traditional for a, a turbocharger. What what some and what what some other uh, technical people seem to think is that it also could just be. Uh, the the more traditional design. Just smaller and a couple of them, mm. you know what I mean? Like just, just, just more than one little turbos. The yeah, problem. If you look at a jet engine, it's not. You see the fan at the. Like, yeah. You see for like yeah. a seven forty seven. Oh, but there's like there's like many 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 layers of fans inside. Yeah, yeah, you see that front fan, but that front fan is only designed to suck the air in. But the fans behind it that are layered together yeah. are all they're slightly off each other, and that's what compresses the air. Oh in, fuck! Inside the engine, hey. the front fan is just designed to. Suck in as much as possible. Oh damn! But yeah, I didn't which is know I that. think what these is suspected that these guys are trying to do. Or or use many little ones. Yeah. Like, e- either way, because it, because the 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 diameter is going to have to be smaller, being in the casing of the engine. Yeah. What they're saying is that it's not because of that, right? Because the, the purpose of doing this. It, 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 the purpose of having a, a a turbo in the first place altogether is because because of what the compressor does. The compressor brings air in to the combustion chambers mm-hmm. way faster, so there's more air, so there's more oxygen, more and if, if there's more more oxygen and more pressure, there's like a more violent explosion that generates more power. Mm. But 
Bingo. Right? And that's you want that. You, you, you want all, as yeah, much as that right. as possible. 15,000 RPM times six per minute. It was at full RPM. You know what I mean? Jesus. Yeah, well, now, be, because of the air, of the way that air works and stuff, if you have a smaller fan, and though, then this is the problem, is that a smaller fan, uh, whether it looks like the, the turbo jet engines mm -hmm. um, or, or many little ones, it's still because because of that limitation of the diameter, it's not gonna be it's not gonna be able to deliver as powerful of a uh, as a normal size like as, as as a normal configuration right. of a turbo. It just won't. It, it, but the thing is though, right now, oh, I don't know if it will change. I don't think there's any limit on the turbo on how much on, on how much it spins. But because right. air because of the way that air works, yeah, if it gets thicker, the faster you spin it. Well, the more you compress it, if it, if if the, if, the, if 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 it, if it's smaller, right? You just can't compress as much of it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, but what Honda is saying is that you know what? We don't need to like have like the maximum performance because we're never gonna reach it. None of the teams are ever gonna re are, are reaching it because of the fuel flow. So uh, there's not enough <laughs> because there's a fuel a flow key. limitation. It's in, in if you throw you're already the, limited. Yeah, if you throw the maths, it just like this is the same or yeah. better. So I've heard this number, but I'm, I'm not sure if this is the actual number. Is it 500 bar? Is this max cylinder pressure? Oh, I'm lower not than sure. That? I'm not sure. To be honest, you need that yellow binder you printed off to check. <laughs> double check. Okay, we'll, we'll double check this for next week. I think it's 500 bar. And one bar is, well, a, is, is a about. Lot, it's about. It's. It's almost similar to one atmosphere. It's like fourteen yeah. okay. something psi. Yeah, and you you basically you fill your your car tires with like what two or three bar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Jesus. So, <laughs> this is, well, this is be, I remember seeing this number before these V6 turbos were proposed or around the time. But yeah. I'm not sure if that that's a number that's stuck, but so, that's something like seven to eight thousand psi. If you, can <laughs> if you can imagine that more easily. Jesus. I think most people can imagine that more easily. But yeah, yeah. Like, like a car tire would be 30 PSI, yeah. 30 to 40 PSI. Right. <laughs> Holy fuck. That's, that's the numbers that were at the start. And, right, and yeah, so if they're not reaching that, like, yeah, I hadn't heard this. Yet. Yeah, then go, go, go ahead, do it. And, and this is, this is well way more reasons smaller. why I guess the people that are like in the know uh, or the people that are like you know, all, real journalists, <laughs> and people that are involved with no, engineer journalists. Yeah, engineer journalists will thank like you Peter Windsor. They, they they yeah thank you Peter Windsor and his channel. Um, Starman. they have a lot of hope. Like they, they tend to they, they tend to be a lot of talk about hope for McLaren because when they see this, when they see the resources that McLaren have, and when they see the resources that Honda have, which apparently now with the new CEO that they have, they've they they've just if anything they there was a fear that maybe he wasn't gonna <laughs> like the F1 project so much, but no, they cranked up. They they're having more engineers work on the on the engine project for F1. Yeah, he sort of he said. I don't think he made a I guess sort of Japanese subtle style. He didn't really make a big <laughs> statement in the beginning, but he sort of hinted that he was supporting the racing culture at at uh, Honda. But yeah, I guess they're stepping it up. Yeah. But you know what? The now there's all this talk, which I don't think is actually talk. It's gonna happen for 2017. Is it, they're gonna throw, yeah, throw yeah. away all these flow limitations and then they're oh like, oh fuck yeah their, th whole then turbo, they're their whole turbo is then they're fucked their whole turbo is not working anymore <laughs> yeah the whole system well good luck for yeah so and, and then and then begs the question so if that's the case hopefully they sell lots of NSXs in the meantime in 2016 <laughs> if that's if that the case car ever comes out a more if that's the case basically Alonso has what like one or two more no, one more year to uh to get a championship with them. Because yeah. it's not gonna happen this year, but mm. maybe ne maybe next year. Yeah, That's it. even if the engine is fixed now, they're too late to win, I think. Yeah, but yeah, I don't know. It can't be too much. Like, I think I don't know. They might do the Renault strategy even and wait it out and do their big like drop a whole bunch of points at the end of the year. Well, but they, they're, they've already they're spent two, so. They only spent, yeah, but only two. I'm sure, they're gonna. And it do, seems like they use them efficiently. I'm sure they're gonna do, yeah, the most efficient and the most uh, calculated. This decision of when to spend these this, tokens is gonna have absolutely no heart to it. It's all gonna be very, very minutely calculated by very, very smart yeah. people in Japan. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, that, like, they're waiting I'll though. They're, back. they're waiting for all this talk with Echo Stone about changing the rules, like fattening the tires. 
Broadening the wings, lowering the cars, <sighs> changing the compounds, changing to V8s. What, what dropping, are they now? Dropping the fuel flow limit. V6, they're, I think, 1.6 liter V6 turbos. Oh, shit. With no limits on the turbos. As, yeah. So, right, I think they're, I guess, all speculation still, but something right. like 100,000 RPMs on these turbos at full, at full throttle. <laughs> unreal, is, man. It's ridiculous. Yeah, that's unreal. Yeah. Huh. I don't know. Hopefully, we can watch this race live, though. Would it be the Sunday? Sunday, yeah. Sunday, Sunday at Sunday. 8 a.m.? 8 a.m. our time. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. So, really, like, the pre-show, which you have to see, the Sky pre-show, starts, yeah. like, it's going to be, like, 6.30 a.m. Holy fuck. And thinking about that now, it might be too early. Yeah. <laughs> don't I don't watch, know if I'm... I'll watch it in the afternoon. Yeah. Jesus. Maybe we can get together after Jay learns how to drive a boat. <laughs> yeah, Jay got a job at the boat. <laughs> Good for him. Some job orientations. Yeah, we'll get this one. Oh, watch. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not waiting two weeks this time. That was no, ridiculous. no, no. It's we always try to like watch it together, and then we just end up watching it on our own or not yeah. at all. Well, this was this in pff, the last like three, four years. This was the latest I ever watched the race. I think. Oh, really? And it sucked too. Like the like hour, half an hour a day that. I was like relaxed and I could check the internet. I couldn't look at any F1 news because I haven't watched the race. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, it sucked the whole time. It was like cut off. Cut off. What? what? Welcome race. back. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was just saying that was ridiculous. That was the latest I watched the race probably ever this past weekend. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> probably, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that's crazy. That sucked. Hey, hey. Now, parallel to F1. Um, the European Formula Three race uh, season just had a, a race at Hockenheim. Oh yeah. shit! Yeah, yeah, I saw that. How that go? Oh, pretty good. It was. Uh, they were pretty was good. That, was that? Is our girl in there? Yeah, and and, and Lance, 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 and Lance. Yeah, oh, yeah. boy yeah. too. Yeah. Holy yeah. shit! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. guys were parents. Yeah. I didn't see where Lance did. Uh, <laughs> he, uh, he was he was sixth and seventh. Oh um, fuck! Out of out of the rookies, he's like. The second best rookie. Oh fuck! The, th- the problem is that there is another rookie, uh, but I don't know what his background is. I think he's like a, a, a an older dude. But in in terms of like the really really young rookies, yeah, uh, Lance is definitely like up there. But he also has like a kick ass team. Um, and but there's this other rookie to the category that is doing much better. I forgot his name. He's from Monaco. He's like a Monegasque guy. Oh shit! Um, he's ra- and he's racing for Monaco. Uh, I don't think a lot of people raise actually for Monaco, even though even if they live there. What like the city has a team, like the the. No, no, no. That's Mon- you know you know how like, like when you when you race, <laughs> you uh, when you're a racing driver, you race for your country. Oh, I see, I see. You, mean. you know, you know yeah, what I mean. That's the flag he drives under. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's interesting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you know, it, it is though, right? Because we don't see many yeah. like racing drivers, even though they live there. Even like like uh, um, what's it called? Nico Rosberg. He's lived most of his life in Monaco. Um, and he, he, he drives for Germany, right? Yeah. So. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, and Calderon came uh, 21st. Well, one, oh, uh, in one of the races. Okay. Okay. Uh, the second race, I think. I she got she got like taken out like it, just bad luck for her it has, yeah. it has been this first few, uh, this first few races, um so she was in an accident uh oh uh in the second race and uh, but hey, what pissed me off and in, in the third race she was also in like a spin she did like a uh, she was in another accident that didn't take her out of the race right but it, it, it was an accident yeah nonetheless um but she was in that one in in the third race I was like. Every time that I that, that they that they cause she wasn't on, on the cameras as much. They were following right. like it was it was pretty action packed actually. Yeah. Um, <laughs> did you actually watch the races? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. I checked out the highlights. I didn't. Oh, they're, they're like they're only like half an hour each. Yeah, um, they're, yeah, really sure. Uh, I but, just I watched kind of like the weekend highlights. The third one though, like she was climbing up. She started like twenty third or something. Mm-hmm. Um, and every time that the fall, you know, like when when they show like where's everybody now, um. Yeah. They didn't. Sh- they didn't like show it all the time, like all like, all the way down uh, the full list drivers. But that's every what, time that a refresh, that's what they've been doing on Formula One too. Yeah, you to get the app. Yeah, I know. I'm sure that's why. Or yeah. the press the red button. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, oh, but sure. every time that like they give an update on, they give an update on like that part of of the field. Yeah. She was like gaining and gaining, like she said. So at one point she was like even up to fifteenth, 
But then, like, then she was trying, like, too bold of a move on somebody. And I think that, I don't know whose fault it was. I think it went to investigation, but nothing came out of it. Uh, but then. It's kind of a racing incident. Yeah, just a racing incident. They were, like, it's trying to, like. It's uh, crazy. Was she, the one dude was trying to, like, run her off the road. And she was trying to stay on the road, clearly. Mm-hmm. And, but then I, something happened. And, like, she, like, spun. And then, like, like did a 360. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Crazy. You don't want to be looking backwards to get that red X. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Uh, but anyway, yeah, it's a, a cool racing there. Um, when's their when's their next one? Uh, in two two or three weeks. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, and at Paul the Paul Grand Prix, which is uh, oh the, yeah, that's the, the track we talked about. Is it wasn't it the no the no no, no not that one not that one. Oh. The Paul Grand Prix was the, the very first like Grand Prix race in the world. Oh yeah. Uh, but it, it's not. It's on. There's. It, it, this won't be the Pole Grand Prix. It, it's just a, a race, like right. Impo. Um, what else happened in, in the junior categories? Uh, Schumacher Junior. I think won a race in uh, Formula Four. I don't know which country's oh, Formula sure. Four, but he's. Yeah, he's in his first, first single seater race. Yeah. Win. Yeah. I, yeah. I think he's still, the first he's still series. like fourteen or fifteen, isn't he? Yeah, he's I think he's like, like super Yeah, he's like around there, fifteen. I'd say fifteen, give or take, a well, year yeah. or two. A year, maybe sixteen, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, yeah, it's sure. so cool. All right, we can go back to F one. <laughs> <laughs> and again, feeder series wise, uh, and this weekend wise, GP two, GP three, GP three right. is starting this weekend. I GP2 think GP two already, already started. Yeah, yeah. GP three wise, I think they they changed a bunch of stuff. Uh, if anyone watches it, it uh, Pirelli does the, their tires as well. So they they uh, have DRS this year. Yeah, they, and they uh, they softened. <laughs> softened each tire like one level down oh yeah and they it's, it's kind of interesting because because it is a feeder series for formula one right um the the things that they changed was they changed the size and profile of the front tires to make the rear tires wear more which i guess they weren't enough last mm-hmm. year and uh the first rate they do a two race weekend they do i think one practice one qualifying and uh two two quick races but the first race is longer they get two wet tires and three dry for the weekend of the okay. same compound and uh the first race is longer to uh make the tires wear and i guess uh, force you to manage them a bit more okay but otherwise yeah so that's the differences cool uh i i i watched kind one of, cool. of the races uh i think because they started uh, in bahrain and I was born, I think. At, I watched uh, Bahrain last year, actually. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I watched. So, so I watched uh, uh, the Bahrain and uh, Joel and Palmer. Uh, he was one of the commentators. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he he did well. He did. Uh, he he F- won FP Formula Practice. Oh, uh, he he won GP two. He's a GP two champion. He's a reigning GP two champion. So yeah, they got him to commentate. Yeah, it's interesting. I was just gonna say, like yeah. for for Formula One, he was doing. Um, I'm I'm sure that's gonna be a career path for him. Yeah. He was he was doing. Uh, Commentation, commentating for the free practice a couple weeks ago. He's pretty uh, good. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He's pretty eloquent. And that's actually, right, that's what I mean. Like he's w- when he was doing the like a young Brundle, he's got an eye for stuff, catches little things. The when 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 he did the that that Lotus one, the, when when he drove around that Lotus, um, like it it looks like his segment on. I think his segment is on a qualifying pre pre show or the the race pre show. I don't know which one. Uh, but he's he's commentating it too, and like yeah, I was like, oh, like this kid is already like yeah, up the, he's he's gonna be the next Brundle. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> well, if, if we notice that people that do TV don't notice for sure. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's yeah, he's good. At it. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, yeah, good for him. What else do we got? Uh, not a whole, actually. You know what? One one th- one more thing I got. Yeah, actually, two things. One of them is pretty. It doesn't really matter at all. Just that today. Haas racing team said by September they will have their drivers locked. Oh, no, that's interesting, actually. Yeah, yeah. Two, two, gu- two guys? It's kind of just to sh- keep themselves in the news type of story. Oh, that's all right. Well, who, who do you think it's going to be? Do you think they're going to have an American? Uh, yeah, I kind of hope they do have an American. Hey, which well, who? who, who who's not that I'm an American. Yeah. Or I have any, like, really, <laughs> yeah. Who? I, really care. I, I want to put it out there. I don't know, man. Haas F1. Get Tatiana Calderon in there. Big PR oh, stunt. Shit. Yeah, oh, for sure. shit. Get a w- She's probably like better than Maldonado. <laughs> She's definitely going to be better than Maldonado. She's definitely better than Maldonado. <laughs> yeah. You you can Come sell on. tons of posters. Has F1. 
Hire a girl. <laughs> Shit. That would change the whole thing. Yeah. Everything. That's a good idea, yeah. Yeah. There you go. Team, new You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but oh, actually... Obvious. Um, something, uh, I think it was uh, that Dan said last week when you guys were talking to the, the Five Lights guys. Yeah. I, f- I forget exactly how it came up, but um, he said that it seemed to him that Horner was being, Christian Horner was being groomed to take over for Bernie Ecclestone. Oh yeah, that's that's been the talk like for a long time actually. Really? Yeah. I, I, that flew right by me. <laughs> well, it, it, it he apparently like goes to like every meeting that Bernie's had, and like yeah, like <laughs> I know I know that, but yeah, I hadn't, I hadn't heard any. even even when it has nothing to do about Red Bull, he like goes with Bernie to like every meeting and shit. They hold hands. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's very cute. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, I, I didn't know that. Apparently, yeah, apparently that's the case. Who, who, but uh, this is all obviously wild speculation. Wild speculation. <laughs> like, for sure, it's like a motto we have. Yeah, of course. So, somewhere on the website, right? <laughs> yeah. Flat of Fever podcast. Wild expectations. All right. Uh, <laughs> that too. That too. What else you got? Do you have one more thing? Uh, no, I think that's pretty much it. Okay, well, we're going to send in a good note and say that oh, yeah. uh, Spanish Grand Prix coming up. Uh, also, yeah, keep awesome. an eye out for uh, May the 8th, uh, my birthday, number one. Number two. Yeah, one of the other reasons for <laughs> definitely not watching this race live. <laughs> <laughs> number two. Rooftop party. Yeah, rooftop party, my place. Um, but uh, number two, it is also uh, uh, May the 8th is the anniversary of uh, when Gilles Villeneuve died. Oh, uh, shit. Gilles, Gilles Villeneuve's death. It was actually two years before I was born or something like that. <laughs> so two or three years, I don't remember. But anyway, on, on the date. Mm. So I'm sure we'll see peppered all over Reddit and, and the social media uh, some Gilles Villeneuve tributes. I hope that they f- they make a documentary. Canadian Music Week. Yeah. Oh yeah. Where can you hear Yo. this baseline? Um, Live May seventh so uh, at the Velvet Underground. Oh, Underground. M- Mike. Yes. How about how about we Is work on getting this podcast PM? before your show happens? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh, that can happen. Yeah, okay, Absolutely. 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 So, so, so this is irrelevant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 totally. Uh, it'll, it'll be a party tonight. You guys are what? Ten o'clock. Eleven. 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 Yeah. The bars are open till four that night. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> this starts Thursday. This Maybe Thursday. Yeah, it's Thursday. It starts on Thursday. And you're at the Velvet Underground. Yeah. On Queen Street. Yes. yes. Eleven o'clock. Get out. Check this out. Listen to Bamboo.com. Uh, we're on, tw- we're on Twitter, Reddit. Yeah, flatterfear.com is, is an important one to subscribe and, you know. I, iTunes us up. Uh, yeah, yeah. All that stuff. You know how to contact people. Yeah. Send angry emails. Google us. See you guys.